Okay, so we want to do this line integral. So let C be the portion of the parabola y equals x squared that goes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Let f of x, y equal 2 x. We want to find the line integral of f over this curve. So this right here is just the picture of the curve that we're going to be um, integrating over. So the formula that we're going to use says that the line integral f ds is equal to the following just regular calc 1 integral. It's the integral from t equals a to b f of r of t times the magnitude of r prime of t dt. And here r is any smooth parameterization of the curve. So in the particular problem that we're looking at, uh, the parameterization is going to be r of t is equal to t t squared. So remember that whenever the curve is part of the graph of a function, um, we just put here um, t, we put in the x-coordinate t, and in the y-coordinate we just put the function. So it's x squared, so it'll be t squared. Because every point um, on this line or on this curve, the coordinates are x comma x squared, and that's exactly what we get over here. It's going to be t comma t squared. The y-coordinate is the square of the x-coordinate, in other words. And for the, for the values, for the limits on t, we just look at the x values. x goes from 0 to 1. So x is going to go 0, or uh, t is going to be between 0 and 1. Okay, so if you look over here at this formula, we need to know what r prime of t is. So let's compute r prime of t. r prime of t is 1 to t. And so this says that the magnitude of r prime of t is going to be equal to the square root of 1 plus 4t squared. Okay, so now we just plug stuff in to this equation over here, to this integral over here. So first of all, um, before we do that, notice that, remember that this is the t component and this is the y component. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in t. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug in t squared for f. Okay, so then this is going to be the integral from t equals 0 to 1. These numbers come from over here. Now it's going to be f of r of t. Well, that again, that just means I look at my formula for f. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in my expression for x. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug in my expression for y. Now in this case, there's only the x, so this is going to be times 2t. And we multiply by the magnitude of r prime of t, which we've computed over here. So this is times 1 plus 4 t squared dt. And now we're going to use u substitution. u is equal to 1 plus 4 t squared. So this tells us that du is equal to 8 t dt. Okay, so this is going to be the integral. Well, the 2 and the 8, uh, 2 over 8 is 1 quarter. So this is going to be 1 over 4. Uh, that t and that t will cancel. So this is going to be the square root of u du. And now for the limits, if t is equal to 0 and u is equal to 1 plus 4t squared, this is going to be u is equal to 1. And for the upper limit, if t is equal to 1 and u is 1 plus 4t squared, this is going to be 5. Sorry, that's, don't know how that got there. Okay, so this is, um, the square root of u is u to the power of 1 half. So the antiderivative of u to the power of 1 half is u to the power of 3 halves over 3 halves. So this will be, sorry, that should be a 4. Hold on a second. So this is 1 fourth. Again, this is u to the 1 half. The antiderivative is u to the 3 halves over 3 halves. So that's the same as 2 thirds times u to the 3 halves evaluated from u is equal to 1 to 5. The 2 over the 4, that's 1 half. So this part is 1 sixth. Okay, and now u to the 3 halves, or so, sorry, 5 to the 3 halves, that's going to be the square root of 125 because 5 cubed is 125. Then we take the square root minus 1 to the 3 halves, which is 1. And if you want, you can simplify this a little bit more. So 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. That's just u cubed, or that's just 5 cubed. That's what we did up here. 
So this is going to be 5 times the square root of 5 minus 1. And that is the final answer, though really something like this would also have been fine. Um, okay, so this is how we find the line integral. So the first step is to figure out how to parameterize the curve, and the second step is to basically figure out how to fill in everything you need for this integral right here.